Yes, we can hear you. Can you go ahead? Yeah, good afternoon. Yep. Yes, uh, my question is just, um, I think, two or three. Let me okay. take two. Um... Anthony, you're, you, you sound no. low. Okay, sorry, let me check the speaker. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Okay, uh, please, I just want to know, um, because I have this uh, company that I just want to put the accounting system or put the accounting books together. And they are a new company, but they've been in existence for two years. I have this issue of determining what the accounting date of the company should be. That is one. And okay. two, because, because they've operated for some period, because what we deal with a company that has been in existence and how to post their transaction. But for a company that is just coming in, that is, Yet they are yet to be in full operation, but they've been operating, they have staffs. They've sorry, I didn't some... sorry, I didn't get your full question, your first question rather. The first question is how do we determine the accounting dates to use for a company? Okay, okay. Second. Then the second one is the company is operation, they are operating, but they are not into full operation. They have staffs, they pay staffs. They run expenses, they run diesel, the pay rent, and all those things, but they've not commenced full operation. Like their revenue line is not coming in, and they've been in existence for close to about two years. In that situation, because I know um I know of these expenses called the uh, pre-incorporation and pre-operating expenses. I know pre-incorporation expenses incurred before the uh, business was incorporated. And I know pre-operating expenses are all expenses incurred before the uh, company comes into full operation. So uh, at this point of the business, I just want to get clarity. Do I regard all expenses incurred during this period as pre-incorporation and pre-operational expenses? Okay, so the business is yet to be incorporated. Have they started operation? Like have they started generating sales? They have not started generating sales. The business has been incorporated, incorporated. They are operating, but they are not generating sales yet. Okay. They are just putting everything in place, incurring expenses, putting things in place to okay. commence operation. Okay. Pre-operation expenses. It's all of them, like you have said, will be expensed. You will take it to the profit or loss account. Anyone that relates to cleaning, take it to cleaning. Anyone that relates to... Uh, electricity, take it to electricity. For that year, they will just report revenue as zero. Something like this. Okay. Let me let me show something rough. I always <laughs> like to always practicalize things, and that's sometimes my own doing. But let me show something rough. So revenue, you have your revenue. For that, until they start making money, their revenue will be zero. Their cost of sales okay. because they've not started revenue activity too. It will likely be zero too. Okay. Their gross profit will also be zero. But overhead, okay. uh, cleaning expenses, all of them under admin expenses. Okay. In the uh, first year or in the second year? In any year, they incur it. Okay, in any year. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, insurance, you put value there. Like that, you put value there. So as long as they have been incorporated, all these expenses must be booked as what they are in the year that they are incurred. That means there will not be any income. They will likely make a loss in each year until they start generating revenue. Okay. Yep. Okay. And the first question? So the first question, how to determine your accounting date? The most easiest to go do is 31st December. But you also have to consider whether your company is a, how they put it, a cyclical business that business is good at a certain point, business is not good at a certain point, but not to rack your brain too much. Is there any reason why you don't want to use 31st December? 
No, there's no reason. Uh, uh -huh. The business. Let, let me let me just say. Let me just say this. Okay. The business was incorporated sometimes around uh, October twenty twenty two. Okay. And just as I said, they've been putting things in place, running expenses in twenty twenty two till now. Okay. So I'm just in a position to say, okay, what can, what accounting dates can I use? for oh, them and i was I, the i was of i was of the opinion that since they've not prepared any financials at all i felt that the first financials i could prepare for them is to do a statement of affairs for them to run maybe from the beginning of when they started the or uh, started operation in 2020 uh, from when it was incorporated in 2022 up mm. to uh, 31st of january 2023 then okay. from 2023, I can now start preparing like a normal finance uh, financial statement for them, just as you explained now. No problem. So that That's was cool. that is what I was just like trying to run my head around. Yeah, I, I get your point, but I would still prefer. There's nothing nothing bad in also preparing financial statements, normal financial statements for them, since they've already okay. been incorporated. It's just operations okay. that have not really started. I've also yes. seen a situation where you still prepare financial statements for the company as well. So you can as well prepare financial statements for them from October 2022 to December 2022. Then the full okay. year will start from 2023. Okay. But some people okay. to manage uh, auditors' cost or all those things, they always want to manage that first year together. The first year will now be like 15 months. But 15 months, yes. Yeah. Me, I prefer just let it here be a name to 2022, then the next year to 2023. And you move okay. On. Okay. So I'll just do for two years straight. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 That's fine. All right. We can yeah, engage for you. the outside of here, Sham. All right, no problem. I even have some things I want to engage with yourself outside of here. No problem. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate. Yeah. People, men, time is gone. I can see the hands up, eh? but I want to plead with you. Permit me to finish this last set of transaction. I believe we would not have time to now talk as much as we like. So let me finish this last set of transaction. That is payment to a vendor. So when you pay a vendor, and, and I see a lot of questions have been coming up around that side. I believe this last one will now kill all those questions. Then... Whatever time we have left, because this session is supposed to end by three o'clock, it's four hours. Whatever time we have left, we can use it to gist and close out anytime. So please permit me. Now let's look at the last part, which is payment to vendor. So for payment to a vendor, I would like to talk about the process. 